My name is Ford Thunder Erickson. I worked at Taco Bell for six glorious years. During my ministry as a disciple of the Bell, I won multiple Store Employee of the Year awards, as well as Company Employee of the Year twice. I do not gloat in my accomplishments for the glory of this world, but simply state these awards to affirm my authority on this important subject facing the world today. Hear my words. I, Ford Thunder Erickson, two-time Taco Bell Company Employee of the Year, do solemnly proclaim that the once great and glorious Taco Bell restaurant has fallen from its prestigious and untouched pedestal in the fast food world. Can I get a breakfast quesadilla? Well, what I can do is I can do a cheese quesadilla and I can add the breakfast items, but we don't have a specific breakfast quesadilla. Oh. In the beginning, the downfall of Taco Bell was gradual and unassuming. Do you have a Mexi Melt? No, we don't carry them anymore. Ah! Cool Ranch Dorito tacos? No, just the nacho cheese flavor. Ah. But the menu subtractions continued to pile up at an ever-growing rate. Do you have those taquitos? No, we don't. Sorry about that. Do you still have the volcano burrito? We don't anymore. They got rid of that line. Can I get a double-decker taco? Unfortunately, we don't sell the double-decker tacos anymore. Oh, dang it. A Mexican pizza and a waffle taco? We actually don't have the Mexican pizzas or the waffle tacos. <laughs> uh, do you happen to have the Baja-style chalupa? I've never heard of those if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess they, they took it away and broke my heart again. Yeah, they always take away stuff. Right? They do. They really do. At it has compounded year after year to the point of complete devastation. Because I have seen the light and tasted of the nacho cheese infused glory which was once found in Taco Bell, my pain is greater than if I had never known it. I was left to exclaim, let the day perish wherein I first tried Taco Bell. Let that day be darkness. Neither let light shine upon it. Ford. I am Glenn Bell, the founder of Taco Bell.
I hereby ordain you as a disciple of the bell. Your mission is to bring Taco Bell back to its former glory. Do you accept this great honor which I have bestowed upon thee? Yes. I will do it. You are a good boy. Rejuvenated by this vision of Glenn Bell, I immediately began writing a manifesto for the reformation of Taco Bell, with an accompanying 56 points of menu reform. I knew I must hang my points of reform on the front door of my mother church, Taco Bell headquarters in Irvine, California. Along the way, I delivered the manifesto to employees at Taco Bells across the country. Manifesto for the reformation of Taco Bell. So we're going to headquarters to try to try to get all the good stuff back. Stop. Yeah, it's a manifesto for the reformation of Taco Bell. That's awesome. Yeah, it's actually a manifesto for the reformation of Taco Bell. Yeah, sorry, but you said you wanted the regular size, correct? Yeah, the regular size. Okay. We are here at Taco Bell headquarters in the parking lot. I can see the security guards, but we're going for it now. We have the points of reform right here. And just like Martin Luther, the ancient Christian reformer, we're gonna post these 95 points of reform on the door of the headquarters of Taco Bell. So that CEO Mark King and accompanying management can know that we will not stand for the corruption that has happened in this restaurant. There was literally no one at Taco Bell headquarters, except for the security guards because of the pandemic. But we hung up our giant manifesto anyway. The security guards took it down 20 minutes later. I think they liked it. As of March 4th, 2021, we have already seen the fruits of our labors. Several items on our points of reform list have been brought back. The Reformation is working. You can download your own copy of the Manifesto for the Reformation of Taco Bell at www.fordthunder.com slash Taco Bell. If you feel called in your heart to participate in this important movement, please do so. The fate of the greater Mexican-inspired fast food industry depends on it. We are all counting on you.